this is strong. This is really strong. And I'm just going to tell you during the pre-shuffle, meaning like I was just shuffling cards and then one card, one card came out and it was the high priestess energy. So you could be a Pisces. Your person could be a Pisces. It doesn't matter. Even if you're not a Pisces, the high priestess energy here, some of y'all could be tarot readers. Some of you, ooh, excuse me, some of you guys could be connected to spirit. You could be studying spirituality or you could just be like a very spiritual person. So you listen to your inner voice. You trust what's being like. You trust what you're feeling. You know that you're not crazy, right? And you like, you're like, okay, yeah, I know what's going on, but you know, that's not going to stop how I'm feeling or what I'm doing, right? So I don't know. Let's see. There could be no communication between you and your person, okay? Your person could be holding secrets. There could be a lot of secrets between you and your twin. But let's see what the current current energy is here. What else is going on? There's a lot of stress and anxiety here I'm seeing. Somebody's def definitely upset and uncomfortable with the situation right now. Somebody's very sad. There's a little bit of anxiety and worry. So I feel like off the bat, your twin is, this energy is, has been so heavy, y'all, because I feel like your, your twin is concerned about whether or not you moved on. Like they could be concerned and sad and depressed and upset that they feel like you, you, you just don't care anymore, you know? And from what I was seeing earlier in the, in the, you know, the polls, you guys have definitely moved on and somebody's very worried about that, but I feel like they might be keeping this secret. I don't know, but let's pull the energy and see what's going on here. So trust what you're feeling because this is real. What you're feeling is not make believe. And I know, I know, I know, I know y'all, this is so crazy and it's meant for you to move on, but you know, it's like... <laughs> It's like, damn, I can't get away from this shit. At least that's how I feel. I'm like, I don't, I don't know, like, what this is about, but I know it's not my energy. So let's see, let's let's dive right into this, okay? Show me what other in energy here is between the collective and the twin. Yeah, somebody's definitely not happy. Ten of Cups in reverse. I just got um, isolation here. Ace of Cups. The, you know what's so crazy? Somebody's not happy here. Ten of Cups in reverse of the Ace of Cups. Upright. They think you've moved on. That's why they're worried and concerned. And une in this uneasy energy. Yeah. Your person is in a, going through a lot of isolation. Now, remember, energies and roles can be reversed, so just take what resonates and please leave the rest, you guys, okay? But there's definitely a separation, like I said, between you and your twin. You're not currently communicating. You're not currently speaking. You guys are probably definitely not together. I feel like your twin is going through a period of isolation, especially with the high priestess being here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not happy. They're keeping to themselves, you know, and they think you've moved on. They really think you, yeah, you've moved on. Look at this shit. <laughs> Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups upright. They think you're doing good. They think you are not. You're happy. But there's an energy here of, you know what? Strong energy of you guys trusting your intuition and, and, and like having some form of ascension here. Definitely an emotional awakening, okay? For some of you guys, your twin could be having some form of emotional awakening here. But I feel like in your life, you guys are receiving some, you feel emotionally satisfied. Like you're happy, you're doing good, you're doing whatever it takes. Some of y'all are are reaching new uh, pinnacles when it comes to like being successful. Um, you're being recognized. You're doing whatever it takes for your dreams to come true enjoying life you know what i'm saying definitely enjoying life here but some of y'all i'm telling you this there's an there some of you are dealing with an air sign okay could be dealing with a gemini a libra or an aquarius here we have the king of swords in reverse you guys and this king of swords is like unhappy <laughs> they're concerned they feel like this is someone here who did not show their emotions this person was definitely dishonest with you mm -hmm. Definitely dishonest with you. Very arrogant energy here. Mm, 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 mm. 
Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is definitely self-absorbed, you guys. Y'all were dealing with somebody here who followed their own... They were only concerned about their own needs. Someone here who could have been focused on materialism, okay? Someone here who could have been very self-absorbed, like I was saying earlier, insecure, very materialistic, okay? And and some, I feel like this person is jealous. They're jealous of what you might have going on. But I, I don't understand why they're jealous because, uh, you know, you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn here. Oof. Somebody's player ways, I feel like, got in the way here. Definitely a, a large energy of insecurity here. This person lacked their, they didn't trust their intuition. They didn't trust their own judgment. This is crazy. This person refuses to learn a lesson here. They just refuse to learn. Lesson after lesson, this person is constantly, like, repeating a cycle. Mm, 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 mm. This person does does not know how they like how they showed up in your life. I feel like okay, uh, or in the past they did not, and now they are. But I'm telling you, this person is a happy Leo energy with the Sun card in reverse. They're not happy. Okay, the Sun card in reverse is falling underneath the King of Swords. So I'm telling you, this person is just unhappy. Ten of Cups in reverse. It's just. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely an energy of conceited energy, you know, conceitedness, you know what I'm saying? Very, that's, that's unfortunate here. The world card in reverse. This is crazy. You know, this person definitely is going, they haven't learned their lesson with the world card here in reverse. Mm -mm. Yeah, they feel empty without you. Could be dealing with a fixed sign here. Definitely could be an Aquarius. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Leo for sure, right? Because we have fixed sign energy here in Scorpio. It's, especially with the Judgment card in reverse. They're not learning their lesson Scorpio energy. So you could be a fixed sign and your person could be any one of these fixed signs here. This person feels like there's unfinished business between the two of y'all. But you know what? Like... <laughs> <laughs> They're, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this person, Scorpio energy is strong here. The Tower card in reverse. This is like someone refusing to change. Someone who is like doing everything they can to avoid change, it, it, but they're not going to be able to avoid it. Virgo energy is here. Gemini energy is here. This is a big life lesson for this person because the Sun card is here. The Hermit card is here in reverse. Virgo energy. The Tower card is here in reverse. Okay, the lovers is here, upright, Gemini energy in the world card. Just, this is a big major life cycle with this person. Like I said, they're definitely spending a lot of time alone. They're in a lot of isolation. They're not saying anything. Okay, this person's like really antisocial right now. They, I feel like, are lacking some form of balance. And I, I feel like they're in their feelings about you healing. Okay, because they made a wrong decision here. They may have made a decision to be with a queen of pentacles in reverse. They may have like literally said, I'm going to start over and go be with this other person, this queen of pentacles in reverse. This could be somebody for some of y'all they have kids with or something that's someone they had history with. But there's there's no balance with this person. They're not happy with them. They're not happy with the decisions and the choices that they've made, unfortunately. You know, there goes that devil card. I'm telling you, Capricorn energy here. This person's not changing at all this is awful you know it's unfortunate it really is unfortunate here this person is immature they have some growing up to do here they procrastinated they made poor they made a poor choice they made the wrong choice this whole energy this is is this person being upset over the choices that they made. They're in isolation. They're upset with themselves, but they don't want anybody else to know they're going through this secretly, I feel like. like, And so now this person is in this uncomfortable energy and they're uneasy with the fact that you're doing good without them and they didn't expect that. But the thing is, is like, the problem here for this person is the fact that they refuse to change. They refuse to change. Hmm. 
they missed the chance. They feel like they missed the chance. They missed the boat. They don't. They feel like there's no way to come back from this. They really do. Could be dealing with a younger, yeah, stalemate energy, two of swords, because they didn't make a decision. They didn't make a decision. So now this person is stuck in denial. Mm, 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 mm. The hair of font is here in reverse here with the page of swords. This is telling me somebody refuses to learn the spiritual lesson that they were supposed to be learning. They could be looking you up here. They do want to talk. Okay, this person does want to talk. They want to know what you're doing. They're trying to act like they're not heartbroken and they're not happy. I mean, that they're, they're trying to act like they are happy. Mm -mm -mm. This person is a rebel. They thought they were going to be able to do whatever it is that they wanted. They thought they could uh, avert changing. And learning. That's what this person thought. And now they're they're just in they're holding on to the past instead of just learning this lesson and letting go. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, this person, you guys, they have to release. They're re they're restless. They're restless. They know that they were just, they, they know they deceived you. Okay. Strong Gemini energy here with the magician card in reverse, which is right next to the devil card energy. This person was so manipulative. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe they're coming out of some form of denial about them being manipulative too, because this four of swords in reverse is actually um, on top of the uh, two of swords here. So somebody here could be coming out of denial and realizing your person could be coming out of denial and realizing like, wait a minute, hold on. Like, I really, this is this what I did? Yeah. Yeah. But you're protected from them and they know that. They, you know, you stood up for yourself. You defended yourself. You, 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 this, I believe this is you, the emperor. Okay. And whether you're male or female here, Aries energy, it doesn't matter. You could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be a fire sign. I just think you stood up for yourself and you took control over, you took your control back is what this is. And you, when you taking your control back, actually woke your person up. I don't know how much. Yeah, three of swords. I'm telling you, I told you somebody was heartbroken over this. They're definitely in some form of loss and drama right now happening in their life. They're very sad. They're very depressed. They're very upset and they're very worried and concerned because you took your power back. You took your power back from this person and look at you coming out. This person is in this nine of swords energy here. They can't sleep. I feel like they're in a lot of anxiety here. You know what? Y'all definitely took your power back. Look at you showing up as the queen of swords upright. So now we have the king of swords here in reverse, but you're showing up as the queen of swords upright. Some of y'all may have had something to say to this person, or you were very honest. You were very direct. You were very assertive. You, I just feel like, you know what? You weren't playing any games. You weren't playing any games with this person. You you put your foot down. You're just done. You're like, no more. I'm not going to be heartbroken over this situation again. I'm not going through another cycle with you again. It's just a simple principle here. You just had it and you're done. You're done. And this person knows that and they miss you. Six of Cups. They miss you and they're thinking about you. Yeah, no, show me more here. Show me this King of Swords energy and read. Yeah, for some of y'all, I'm just going to tell you like this. This could be your false twin flame. Some of y'all are starting to question whether or not this person was actually your real twin flame because I feel like they put you through so much stress and so much conflict and so much drama. You feel like was this you're questioning whether or not this was real. You're questioning whether or not this was real. And I get it. I really do get it. Okay. Tell me this King of Swords energy here. Mm -hmm. 
See, and you know what's so sad is this King of Swords felt like they did everything they could to avoid that this was, they tried not to believe that you were their twin flame. They did. I'm going to tell you that. They really tried not to believe they were your twin. And they treated you less than. And now they're seeing what they did. Show me more of this King of Swords energy in reverse, please. Yeah, they did. They treated you less than a divine counterpart here. And now this person is in a bunch of inner turmoil and this five of, five of wands energy. Like they're in a bunch of mental stress, a bunch of spiritual warfare. They're physically like bounded. They feel like there's no way out from where they are. They feel imprisoned in their current situation and they know this is their own doing. They're in this three of swords energy and they know it's their own damn fault. I'm telling you. And they're difficult. Like this person is trying to fight their own inner demons. I'm I'm telling you and it's killing them it's killing them especially for those of you all who this person feels like you've moved on without them tell me more here for this king of swords in reverse yeah what i'm saying is true okay that ace of swords energy just came out this person knows you're wrong I mean, they know they were wrong. Excuse me. They do. You inspire this person to be better. But the thing is, they, they're they still trying to fight this process. They're still trying to fight this process. Show me more here. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a, a Taurus. Okay. This person took forever to make up their mind when it came to you. And some of y'all, they're dealing with a queen. Remember why I said this queen of... um. Pinnacles in reverses here. They're, some of y'all are dealing with a karmic partner who is who's just manipulative. They're a liar. You know, they're they're not to be trusted, and they feel like they made the wrong decision. Yeah, in separation. This person, I'm telling you, is so heartbroken in this three of swords energy, Libra energy here. This person settled for a lot of y'all. They settled with a karmic. This Queen of Pinnacles in reverse. I'm telling you, they did. This person settled because they're afraid of change. Again, we already talked about how they're afraid of change, right? They didn't feel, because of this insecurity, they felt like they weren't worthy or they weren't capable of changing and growing and healing. And so this person is stuck. And so now they're in this mode of like, being quiet, staying to themselves, knowing they are not happy with this Ten of Cups and reverse energy. They feel like like th they're just in this gloomy, sad energy. And they're like reviewing and looking over their dang old life. They know they need to work on their mind, body, and their spirit. They're really praying and hoping that you're going to make their way, you're going to make your way back to them, but they know you're not going to come back or they're not going to have another chance with you again unless they actually do the work. Or they definitely let go of this Queen of Pentacles. Let me get some information on this um, Queen of Pentacles real quick. Show me this Queen of Pentacles energy, please, that this masculine is dealing with. And look at that. As soon as I say, show me this Queen of Pentacles energy and look at what came out. Nine of Wands. Mm. Show me this Queen of Pentacles energy. They want to apologize to you. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles made it they did everything they could, I feel like, collective to lie, say whatever it is to this masculine to give them back. For some of y'all, this is not for everybody, but they may have had a baby or a child with someone or somebody could have been pregnant. And that's what made this person try to go back to them and make something work. OK, they could have come back to them and said, please, let's make something work for the children. Let's make something work for the kids. You know, that's not for everybody, but... Show me one here. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. But in, in all actuality, this person was hiding secrets. Cancer energy. I'm telling you, this person was 
hiding something, okay? Not telling the truth. Keep it secret. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. I'm telling you, whatever this this Queen of Pentacles in Reverse told this person, when to get them back, they showed up as the Queen of Pentacles upright. But this Queen of Pentacles came out in Reverse because I feel like that's current energy. This Queen of Pentacles upright with the Nine of Wands, the Sun and the Page of Cups and the, the Moon and the Ten of Swords, this is what they were hiding. What they were hiding was, oh yeah, let's get back together. Like, I'm going to be, it's going to be good. We're going to make this work. You know, let's do it for the kids. Or, you know, somebody could have said they were pregnant. Maybe they weren't pregnant for some of y'all. Somebody definitely stabbed them in the back. They stabbed your person in the back. And now your person feels like they made the wrong decision. This person definitely lied to them and made it seem like something it really wasn't. Show me the moon. Three, like I said, for some of y'all, three of cups. I'm telling you, this person wanted this. This queen of pentacles in reverse is karmic. Was hiding that they could have been pregnant from someone else, or that there was a third party situation, and they um, they wanted to reunite. I'm telling you, this is. Some of y'all, this is real low down, dirty. This queen of pentacles in reverse did your person dirty. Show me this king of uh, swords in reverse energy, please. King of swords in reverse energy. Yeah, that's this high priestess is out here twice. This person is not saying nothing. They're quiet. They haven't said a thing. Hmm. Now they're listening to their inner voice. Now they're like, oh, shoot, I should have trusted my intuition because they knew what they were doing. Show me more of this King of Swords and energy in reverse, please. Mm -hmm. Yep, King of Swords came back out in reverse. Show me more for the King of Swords in reverse. It's, it's almost like this. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this person is in this Nine of Swords energy. They play way too many games with you. Seven of Pentacles and Five of Swords. They play games. They thought they were they would have heard from you by now, but they haven't heard from you by now because you're you came out as the Queen of Swords upright. You're you're standing on business. Just you're just standing on business. You know what's so crazy is this King of Swords in reverse feels played by this other person. Give me another card here for this King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the devil played so many games. Capricorn energy. This person feels stuck with somebody else. Like a child may be involved here in this situation here. This person doesn't know if they can overcome any of this. And they're really upset with themselves at this point because they feel like they just screwed it up. Mm, there's no coming back. See, there's no point of return for this King of Swords. No. Show, clarify the top priestess for this King of Swords in reverse, please. Mm -hmm. Definitely some third party energy here. This person is thinking about who they should have given this offer to. Hey, man. They're seeing something differently here. This this King of Swords in reverse could have gotten Pisces energy here. Could be dealing with a younger Earth sign, or they could be dealing with a younger Earth sign, especially with all this Earth energy here, Taurus or Capricorn. But I feel like this person may have um, gotten some additional information from a reader, or gotten some form of like tarot reading or something, and that's how they found this information out. Like that could be how they found out they made the wrong decision. Something went down with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody got a reading here and they're learning. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. See, this person is definitely was in their head a lot. Their heart told them yes, 
but their mind is is just like racing. They don't know what to think. They don't know whether they're coming or where they're going. They're in a lot of mental anguish, a lot of mental pain, definitely upset. Like I said, and it's three of swords energy there. All they can do is really think about you and daydream about you. Remember, we saw the six of cups earlier. No matter what this person does, no matter where they are, like they just can't seem to think for, seem to forget about you. Yeah, they can't think about you. I mean, they yeah, they cannot stop thinking about you. I think this is a secret, though. This person's not letting it be known. Mm -mm. The thing is, they do want to take some form of action towards you. They feel guided to take some action towards you. But they know that you don't trust them. They know they made some mistakes in the past and they lied to you and they know that you're never going to trust them again. So they now they're regretting their actions and they're ready to chase after you and talk to you. They realize letting you go was a really huge mistake. So now they want to chase after you. Look at this chasing energy here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they definitely can't stop thinking about you. I don't know. Again, like I said, show me more here. This person thought that you were going to wait for them forever. Like you, you're, you were going to always be around. For some of y'all, they went to a tarot reader. I'm telling you, they, they got a tarot reading on you and they realized you were the person that they were supposed to marry. You were the person that they were supposed to be with. You were the person who they were supposed to have children with, and they feel like your intuition is really, really scary. You may have even told this person something. You could have told them this other person was, was lying to them, or they weren't being honest to them about something. Like, this person wants to know how you know so much about them, or how you were able to, like, tell them things that they didn't know beforehand before they actually happen but see they know i'm telling you that you they know who you are you've healed you you have ascended you've been taking care of your mind your body and your soul and this person's energy they depended on your energy here and now that your energy is not around they're depressed like i said they're unhappy look at this energy depressed unhappy Now this person's ready to come towards you and make it make make an offer and make you a priority. But they know that their their words have to match match their actions. They do. But again, I don't know if y'all are gonna really be de be dealing with this because I feel like you've moved on. You've moved on. You're not even who you used to be anymore. You're you're over it. I feel like yeah, angry. Yeah, I'm upset that you have control over me. See, that's the problem with this person. This person was so into control, having control all the time. Yeah, and now that they don't have this control, it's like oh shit. But that's their own doing. That's their own doing. They made a choice. The choice that they made, unfortunately, wasn't good. It wasn't the best choice. And now they're missing you, like I said. And they're getting ready to pop up, you guys. Okay, they miss you. And all I'm going to say is with the Six of Cups being here and this person missing you, like literally. Six of Cups and missing you is here. They're ready to make you a priority. Um, they're ready to surprise you with something. Okay, they, they have something up their sleeve. So don't be surprised when this person comes back towards you. So when this person comes back towards my collective, what are their intentions? What do they want with the collective then? When they come back towards the collective, please. Conflict, drama. <laughs> the Empress, they're going to try to bring conflict and drama towards you. Because they're mad that you, you have moved on. For some of y'all, if you they try to come back towards you and you reject them, they're going to be upset with you and angry. 
because you moved on. I just, yeah, because you moved on. They're mad at you that you rejected them. They feel abandoned. They feel like you let them out in the cold and you just moved on. They love you, though. They're in their feelings for sure. Not saying nothing. Herman energy. Mm-hmm. But they they can't hold those feelings back much longer. I'm telling you with the Knight of Cups being here. But I don't see. Yeah, they want to bring this nine, Knight of Cups to you. Uh, nine of Cups. Mm. Why is it? Clarify the Nine of Cups. I want to see this person. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Okay. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They do feel like you're supposed to be together. Okay. The Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Cups. They know who the GOAT is. They know you are the GOAT. And they're sick to their stomach about this shit. So, you know, it's up to y'all and what y'all decide to do, obviously, but for some of y'all, you will be, you know, free will. You don't have to be with this person. Everybody's not going to want to reconcile, but I'm just telling you here, like, this person might be upset with you because they may feel like you just decided to move on. And they're not going to know how to handle that. So, they want to bring this Knight of Cups to your nine of cups to make this ten of cups. All right. Well, what are you going to do? Y'all let me know in the comments, okay? I love y'all. You can do whatever you want to do. Protect yourself for sure. Protect yourself. Trust your intuition. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that people have to learn like this. But, you know, it just is what it is. So, um, yeah. Hit the like button, you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box, okay? I love y'all. Bye.